one thing that your notes didn't talk about today in your video was actually irrational and irrational. Okay. So we have two instances where we have irrational and irrational. It's when we have irrational plus irrational. And when we have irrational times irrational. And you may want to make sure you're writing this down, okay? This will be something that will be on the test, so it's important that you write it down. Now, the thing is, with irrational plus irrational, really what we're doing when we add irrationals together, we're just coming up with a bigger irrational. So you could pick really anything you wanted to here. Say we had the square root of 2 plus 3 on the square root of 2. Those are both irrational numbers, correct? So when we take and add those two numbers together, we would take the numbers in front, 1 plus 1 plus 3, and we would add them together to get 4 on the square root of 2. Now, looking at the number 4 on the square root of 2, did we really do anything to that to make it change from irrational to rational? No. So 4 on the square root of 2 is still an irrational number. So anytime you add irrational numbers, you're just going to get a bigger irrational. So understand, irrational, so you have irrational plus irrational plus, or irrational plus irrational is equal to irrational. So you're going to get those when you add them together. Now multiplication is a little bit of a different story when we multiply irrational numbers. Let's take, for instance, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. We would all agree that square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is both irrational, correct? But when I take 2 times 2, I get what? So I'm going to get the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is equal to what? 2. So here my answer actually ends up being what? Rational. I could also have something like the square root of 3 times the square root of 2. 3 times 2, 3 times 2 would be what? 6. Can we take the square root of 6? No. So that would be a irrational number. So here we can see that irrational times irrational actually gives us both. Alright, sometimes it'll be one, sometimes it'll be other. That's the only real instance where they kind of clash is with irrational times irrational. Everything else is pretty set in stone. Alright? Irrational plus irrational just gives you a bigger irrational number. But irrational times irrational will give you both rational and irrational. So understand, that's actually a test question. So you need to make sure you write that down and have that in your notes. If you have any questions on this, please let me know.